it's me, Angela, and today I'm going to show you how to make, create this really pretty like brown, um, cream colored neutral eye. Um, I'm calling it a neutral eye just because I'm using cream colors and brown, very neutral um, colors and they're not really like exotic and using every color in the rainbow. Um, so that's why I'm calling it neutral and I just want you guys to know and realize that it's neutral, not natural because this definitely does not look natural at all. It's kind of like smoky and I really had a ton of fun making it for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoy it. One of the things that you want to start it. off by doing is um, concealing any dark circles or bags under your eyes. I'm going to go ahead and do this to my lower eye, under my eye over here. You want to pat it. Do not rub it on. And this is really going to add to that really neutral look by concealing that. I'm gonna start by applying concealer all over my lid and I'm gonna pack it on because I'm gonna be using a pretty generous amount of eye color eyeshadows on my lid and I wanna make sure that they last the whole night or a whole day and that um, the colors are truly vibrant and don't crease. And that's what a primer does. So pack it on there, girl. <sighs> I'm gonna apply this really pretty like champagne-y color. It is really kind of like a really um, cream color mixed with a bit of gold specks in it. And I'm going to apply that all I'm over my lid. I'm going to apply that pretty like champagne color with this flat brush. And I'm going to go ahead and do it. It is such a pretty color. I'm gonna apply it everywhere on my whole lid, except for in the crease and in my inner corner because I'm going to be applying different colors in there. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it is such a beautiful, beautiful color and I hope that it does pick it up. So just do the same thing to your other eye. apply this cream color um, into my inner corner of my eye it's not really focusing as much as I would like to but it's really light so color. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it into the inner corner of my eye and kind of drag it down a little bit under just like a fourth of the way in and a little bit in more Take a little bit more on my brush and just kind of pat it on there and what I like to do always always when applying um, shadows is to start with a little bit on your brush and then work more onto it because it's way easier to put more as you please than to like when if you put too much then it'll be harder to kind of take off so you want to make sure to just kind of work lightly with shadows especially really pigmented ones the ones that I'm using are definitely really pigmented so you have to be careful that you don't over put it on and then you look like a clown so yeah. I think I'm pretty happy with that now time for the crease I'm gonna put this really chocolatey brown color into I'm my crease I'm gonna be using this really big fluffy um, eye shadow brush to apply it I'm gonna go ahead and go in there with my color and just really make that intense. I'm 
And you really wanna blend it out really nicely. And then you're gonna kind of in circular motions take it up towards your brow bone. Taking this black eyeshadow, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lower lash I'm gonna line. go ahead and use this slanted eyeshadow brush and it just fits perfectly under there. Take the product, and this is definitely lightly because it's kind of a neutral smoky. Just gonna go ahead and smudge it down there. I really like that. Go ahead and repeat it. You kind of want to make it a little bit thicker at the corner and then make the line a little thinner as you get further in. And you don't want to touch your crease with this black. And that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little, little bit, just the tiniest amount, and smudge it just right on the corner, just like that. And just keep it like that, light, light. Take a little bit more, the lightest amount. Make sure not to take too much onto your brush. Just go ahead and apply the tiniest amount on the upper lid. The next step is to apply your highlight color. You're gonna take the same color that you used for your inner corner tear duct and apply it right under the arch of your brow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This is really just gonna highlight your face making um, it look more chiseled and pretty just right there. there so the same color as your inner corner you're going to apply right under your eyebrow bone and if you want you can take that same color if you don't have a highlighter and you can also apply it down the bridge of your nose and it'll look um, also more chiseled give it that look it's gonna just look a little bit more clean the and last pretty. step that I had done um, was to apply mascara mascara um, I applied just like a thousand coats and again just love big lashes and now I know that it usually goes eyeliner then mascara but I'm doing it the other day other way around it's just my mirror I'm using so that I don't you know not see so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a thin line of eyeliner to my top um, lash line Step is lips and I'm gonna go ahead and use this lipstick it's by Maybelline and it's a really like pale pink and it's like a nude pink and it's called it's in 720 pearly pink and it's from their um, pearl collection I don't even know if they still sell these but I got like like 20 different shades of the pearl collection because I love nude lips I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this And next, I'm going to apply this really pretty gloss. It, I think I got it at Bath & Body Works, and it's just a pink one with silver and gold undertones, and I really love this shade. Oops. So, I'm doing pink lips. Brown and pink. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this because I really sure did enjoy making it and I always enjoy making tutorials for you guys. Um, I hope that you guys will tell me what you thought of this in the comments below. Um, 
make sure to check out all my like Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Um, yeah, have a good day, guys. Bye.